let's talk through your career and you're a two-time NCAA champion which is a big thing like for us and for you especially yeah, and is that is that the thing that you're the most prideful of your career your whole your whole career it's up there I think it's definitely up there because it's so uh, it was very special for me very special time and uh, definitely something you know very proud of yeah let's talk through Olympics and you had to, the, the opportunity to, to represent Germany and uh, what kind of experience was it and what did you what did your team lack to compete to the medals you know right no it was great it was great getting there um, it, was a, it was a great challenge also getting there and I think for for our basketball um, national team and for basketball in Germany that was a huge step um, you know we haven't, we haven't done it in a long time and um, obviously we wanted to to compete for for higher spots and you know the goal is always to to uh, compete for some type of championship but uh, you know it's also important that you give it all you put a lot of uh, effort into it and then at the end you can tip your head and say okay we gave it our all and I think that's what we did and you had to guard Luka Doncic for quite some time in the Olympics. Uh, how was that? How was the feeling to guard one of the best players right now? Yeah, it was very interesting to guard him because he's so so multi multi dimensional, so um, you know, so talented in, in, in many ways. But he's not a freak athlete, so you really got to uh, focus on so many different things that that uh, he he will use during the game. So it's hard. Have you learned something new, just especially like from that uh, kind of experience? I wouldn't say new, but it was definitely definitely interesting experience because he's hard to guard, he's hard to, uh, hard to play, um, and it surprised me that uh, he played with such a poise, you know, with a different speed, with with great um, control. So this is definitely something you can you know you look at some players and you copy a little bit of what they do. It's definitely something. Uh, and talking about Lithuania, well, this country is well known for his for its love uh, of basketball, you know. And have you have, have you already had an opportunity to, to 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 experience that that people loves basketball here? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I was on the opposite side at that point. You know, I played here a couple of times uh, when the arena was still uh, totally full, and it's, it's it's amazing. It's amazing to play in in Jagiel Arena. And um, kind of, kind of see how excited people are about the game, and I just hope that this season will be will be a similar experience that fans are able to come to the arenas um, and that we have this type of energy. Yeah, you came from Alba Berlin, uh, which is considered to be one of the top organizations of the whole Europe, and as well as Jalgiris. So maybe you can uh, compare it somehow. Yeah, it was definitely definitely more. Um, it was an easier step for me to come to a team like Jaguars where I knew how the organization was, how it was um, very professional, you know, very well run and that you have a great, a great situation waiting for you that definitely helped me to make the decision also. Okay, thank you. Awesome. Yeah.